Have you ever heard a pop or crack in your shoulder and wondered if it's something that you should be worrying about? It can sound a little alarming, but the truth is most shoulder noises are completely normal. That said, Sometimes they can be a sign of something more serious. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. I'm a sports medicine doctor practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area, and shoulder problems are among the most common issues that I treat. One of the most common questions that I get is, why does my shoulder click or pop, and should I be concerned? In this video, I'll break down the most common reasons your shoulder makes those sounds, how to tell if it's a problem, and what you can do to keep your shoulder healthy and pain-free. So let's start with some reassurance. Shoulder cracking and popping sounds can be unsettling, but in most cases, these mechanical symptoms are not something to worry about. It's essential to understand that while these sounds might seem concerning, they are often harmless and can be attributed to several non-pathological causes. And this applies to individuals with no shoulder pain or dysfunction. One of the most common reasons for shoulder clicks or pops is related to normal anatomical variations in the shoulder. For example, as the rotator cuff tendons, particularly the supraspinatus tendon, move underneath the coracoacromial arch during shoulder motion, it's possible for these tissues to make brief contact with the surrounding structures. This region, called the subacromial space, is a narrow passage between the top of the humeral head and the arch formed by the acromion, the coracoid process, and the coracoacromial ligament. Normal anatomical variations, such as a naturally tight space, minor bursal thickening, or subtle bony differences, can all contribute to sensations like clicking, popping, or catching as the tendons and bursa glide during movement. These mechanical symptoms are extremely common and in the absence of pain or dysfunction are generally considered benign. However, when clicking or popping is accompanied by pain, weakness, or restricted range of motion, it may suggest something more concerning. Something like subacromial impingement, rotator cuff tendinopathy, or partial thickness or full thickness rotator cuff tearing. In these situations, the mechanical sounds may be due to inflamed or damaged soft tissue rubbing against nearby structures. That said, the presence of clicking alone does not reliably predict structural pathology. A 2024 prospective study published in the Journal of Shoulder and Elbow Surgery examined 100 patients with suspected rotator cuff pathology and found that subjective mechanical symptoms like clicking or popping were not associated with rotator cuff tear biceps tendon subluxation, or other MRI-confirmed abnormalities. This means that while clicking with pain should prompt further evaluation, it is not a definitive sign of rotator cuff damage by itself, and imaging and clinical assessment remain essential for an accurate diagnosis. Additionally, shoulder clicking and popping can sometimes be a symptom of shoulder osteoarthritis. In arthritis, the smooth cartilage that lines the surfaces of the glenohumeral joint gradually wears down, and this leads to increased joint friction, irregular surfaces, and the formation of bone spurs or osteophytes. These changes can result in mechanical grinding, clicking, or popping during shoulder motion, particularly when the arm is raised, rotated, or moved across the body. Patients may describe these sensations as crepitus, and over time they may notice increased stiffness, loss of range of motion, or deep aching pain that worsens with activity. From a biomechanical standpoint, as cartilage degenerates, the joint no longer moves as smoothly. Micromotion between the humeral head and glenoid becomes less controlled, and this can lead to intermittent catching or clicking as the joint surfaces interact unevenly. Osteophytes or bone spurs that form along the joint margins can also contribute to these mechanical symptoms by impinging on soft tissues or physically limiting the joint's normal excursion. While mild crepitus may occur even even in asymptomatic individuals, especially with aging, persistent or painful clicking accompanied by stiffness or reduced function should raise suspicion for underlying degenerative joint disease. Evaluation often includes physical exam and imaging such as x-rays, which can reveal joint space narrowing, subchondral sclerosis, and osteophyte formation. All of these are hallmarks of glenohumeral joint osteoarthritis. Another less common cause of clicking in the shoulder region is snapping scapula syndrome. This condition occurs when there is abnormal contact or friction between the underside of the
the scapula and the rib cage during shoulder movement. Patients often describe a grinding, snapping, or popping sensation near the shoulder blade, sometimes accompanied by discomfort or a feeling of something catching with motion. While it's relatively uncommon in the general population, snapping scapula is seen more frequently in individuals who perform repetitive overhead or throwing motions. These are typically seen in swimmers, baseball players, weightlifters, or rowers, anyone where the scapula is in constant motion against the thoracic wall. From a biomechanical perspective, normal scapulothoracic movement requires a smooth interface between the scapula and the rib cage, and this is maintained by the surrounding musculature and cushioning from the scapulothoracic bursa. When this interface is disrupted, whether from poor posture, scapular dyskinesis, muscle imbalances, or inflammation of the bursa, it can lead to audible or palpable snapping. While snapping scapula syndrome may be benign in some individuals, persistent symptoms should be evaluated, especially if they interfere with daily or athletic performance. Another important but often overlooked reason for shoulder clicking or popping involves joint hypermobility. For some individuals, hypermobility spectrum disorders can lead to mechanical symptoms without any underlying structural damage. In these cases, the issue isn't inflammation or tissue injury, but rather excessive joint laxity. When the ligaments and connective tissues that stabilize the shoulder are more elastic than usual, the joint can move beyond its normal range of motion. This increased movement allows for more frequent and sometimes more noticeable joint sounds as structures shift and reposition with motion. People with hypermobility often report frequent cracking or popping in their shoulders even in the absence of pain or dysfunction. This is particularly common in younger individuals, dancers, gymnasts, or those with naturally flexible joints who may not be aware that their shoulder mechanics differ from the norm. While the sounds themselves are usually harmless, persistent instability or symptoms like frequent subluxations, Fatigue or discomfort with overhead activity might suggest a more complex underlying connective tissue disorder such as Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or generalized joint hypermobility. Those are some of the most common reasons why your shoulder might crack or pop. But perhaps the most important takeaway is this. Mechanical symptoms like these are incredibly common, even in people without shoulder pain. In fact, research has shown that structural abnormalities are frequently detected in asymptomatic individuals. One ultrasound-based study found that 96% of asymptomatic men had detectable shoulder findings, and these include subacromial subdeltoid bursal thickening and signs of acromial clavicular joint osteoarthritis. What this tells us is that shoulder clicking or popping often occurs in the absence of any clinically significant pathology. These noises are often just part of the normal variation of human anatomy and tissue movement, particularly in active individuals or those with more mobile joints. With that said, Context matters. While most cases of shoulder clicking and popping are benign and don't require treatment, it's important to listen to your body. If those sounds are consistently accompanied by pain, weakness, instability, or a noticeable decline in function, it may be worth seeking evaluation by a healthcare professional. In those situations, Further assessment, such as a physical exam or imaging, can help determine whether an underlying issue like rotator cuff pathology, bursitis, or joint degeneration may be contributing to your symptoms. But for the vast majority of people, hearing a pop or click during shoulder movement is not a cause for concern. It's just the body doing what it's designed to do.